How I take languages notes. If you would like to know everything about the layout I use on my note taking, keep watching! Hello world, I'm Via. In this video, I will show you step by step how I take my notes for my Korean and Spanish studies. I may reaffirm that you only need a pen to take notes. All materials used in this video are examples of stationary stuff that you can use, but they're all optional. Let's start with the title. A couple months ago I used it to write using brush learning, but I don't do that anymore, so now it's just a simple title using a black pen. I like using a highlighter next to the title to highlight it, and it's also a good way to start a new topic, so every time you start a new topic, you use a new color. As you might notice it, in the body of the text, I always use a black pen. In my opinion, it matches better with other colors, but it's optional, so you can use a blue pen or another color. In addiction, every time I start talking about a new topic, like a subtopic, I like to make this banner because it's simple and I think it's really cute. I use a ruler because I want to learn to write in the middle of the line, but in the course of the video, I stop using it. My notes are minimalist because they are just notes of new content. I like to invest more of my time talking with native speakers than taking notes. I like to write examples and write a content in a didactic and simple way so that I can easily reveal and understand. If you're <clears throat> if you're still watching this video, please comment white pen. Also, I have to say thank you so much for the support. You all are so lovely and amazing. Thank you so much for watching my videos. And now it's time for details! The details are really simple and optional as all of the things that I taught here. So as you can see, they are really simple. You just need to follow what I'm doing in the video and ta-da! It's done! If you don't want to make a banner, it's okay, I have another option to you, so you can just write your subtitle and then you highlight it. There's also another option, you just need to write your subtitle with another color and it's so so cute and I love it when I did that. I started writing using print writing style last year, um, before I used it to write only in cursive, but now I'm enjoying writing like this. Oh, um, you probably didn't notice, but recently we achieved 300 subscribers and I'm freaking out because can you imagine 300 people in a room? Imagine talking to 300 people at the same time, it's insane! Well guys, thank you so much and now, as you can see in the screen, I'm showing different kinds of notes that I did. You can take a screenshot, then you can use as an inspiration to do your own notes. I always follow the same model so I don't have to think too much and how I will take my notes and that day. No, it's simple, I use the exactly same layout. If you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel. And that's it, see you in the next video, bye!